What's up guys, Reggie Gaming here, and welcome back to more Earthbound in the last part. We managed to pick up Picky, and now we will be Ness. Do you hear a buzzing sound? Buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No, I don't. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Alright. And what is this? Giant light in front of the meteor, right? What could that be? It is. It is a buzzing sound. Yes, a bee I am. Not. I am from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gagas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time shower is the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is in my opinion that you are that boy, yes. This, I believe. I guess monstrous plan, monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have to counter the evil intention of Gagas. Three things are of most importance. Wisdom, courage, and power. The Triforce. I'm just kidding. And friendship. <laughs> the legend from truth from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gagas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes, I did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> this is actually the second recording of this, and thank goodness for restore points. Thank goodness for restore points. Nintendo, thank you for being on, you know, like the safe state bandwagon. But um, Buzz Buzz joined our party. Yes, even though we didn't know his name. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Well, you know, maybe you should exercise a little bit more pokey. pokey. But you know, if you're okay, if you're okay with your size, man, you know, it's cool. It's cool. But yeah, I actually fail recorded the first time, and I did. I'm doing the exact same things I did on this, the first recording. But um, yeah, my s audacity was trying to record with the stupid Realtek high definition sound within the laptop, and I'm like, no, nah, man. I do it with snub my blue snowball. I love my blue snowball. It's cool, even though it's white. But um, yeah. What is this? It has been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You have been successful at following Master Gaia's plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Yeah. So the reason why enemies haven't appeared so far is because we have to fight Starman Jr., our first real boss fight, and. Bus Bus will do a PSI Shield Sigma, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll fix it later. Because, you know, post editing and stuff. But yeah, I'll take this time to talk about stuff because this fight is unlosable. That enemy cannot attack you at all. But um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the Earthbound giveaway that I mentioned in the first video. But, uh, the way it's going to work is you're on. The, the rules are you are to comment on a video to contend. But not just one certain video. It's. The better chance is that you comment on all the videos because I will pick a random video and I will go through the comments and I'll put all the names into a raffle box and then I will shuffle it up and pick a name from the raffle, raffle box. And you're more likely to win if you comment multiple times because I will allow that. But um, Starman Jr. is defeated, so I'm gonna go ahead go back to the game. Ness gained 16, uh, 16 experience points. Ness level is now 3. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. That is really good. IQ went up by 1. Uh, luck went up by 1. Yes. Maximum HP went up by 14. Maximum PP went up by 14, which is really good. So now our maximum HP is 45. And maximum PP is 15, which is good because my OCD is killing me. And I'm, I'm not reading that. Uh, from now on, you'll be finding enemies sent by Gagas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They will definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals who are, 
are also becoming violent due to Gaga's Gai influence over the evil and right. It is the truth. So listen. Yeah. So basically, Buzzbox explained the fact that we'll be fighting evil machines and evil people, which is basically almost the whole entire world. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go talk to this lady. I'm talking to this lady. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I have to think of suitable punishments, you hear? I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Oh, poor Pokey and Picky. Oh my god, he just shot him with a laser. I'm pretty sure this is child abuse. I, I could call child services, you know. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of, a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it could, really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guy finished last. That's the story of our life. Ah yeah. I think this is done, Beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh no. I'm over it. <gasps> I was much weaker than I thought. But you took out a Starman Jr. How can, what? <laughs> so you must now begin your journey. Uh, begin your adventure. See you. Okay. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Guy Gas. Your own power must unite with the earth. The earth will then channel your power and then multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these points your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near one that is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain. Everything's getting dark. Uh, before I pass, I want to give you some. It is the soundstone. You record the melodies from a, your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, I don't. Good. It's already done outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. Those are a lot of final words. That's got the soundstone. And Buzzbuzz Buzz is dead. Oh no, Buzzbuzz. Buzz. I'm so sad. No, not really. And as you can see, why night became day. You know, like in those Mario Party 2. In Mario Party 2, then the Witchy World thing. I, I'm pretty sure it's not called Witchy World, but I'm quoting it. And I'm also calling this something from Banjo Tooie. But also, this guy, picture taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzz Eye Pay Calls. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And he just flies into the air. Okay. So, we got talking bees. Giant metallic people, country people that I lend money to, and we're gonna talk to Dad. All right. So this is how we'll be saving for the game, but of course I'll be using the restore points that Nintendo has politely given us, which is good for me because in case I screw up a recording like I did before, you're back. Don't bother yourself with taking, with talking now. You look tired. Mother understands these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. I love a mom like that. I wish I had a mom like that. I'm so sad. But anyway, um, yeah. I'll be using restore points in case I screw up recordings like last time. Which, by the looks of it, everything's good to go. And I went back into the door that I came from. Go. Through the door. Alright. Because we walk through doors. We don't open them. And we walk down. We float downstairs. But anyway, yeah. They've kindly given us restore points, which I love, which is especially like useful for recording, even though I said all these things. And now here we have a runaway dog. Again. So we're just going to beat up this dude's dog. 
and I'll probably be grinding most of the time. I know I've said these things, but you know, when you play games like Fire Emblem, you don't really get a chance to grind, and it's unfamiliar to you. Yeah, yeah, I love this game so much. It reminds me of old school Pokemon in a way, in a way. Except, you know, Pokemon didn't appear on the match, which would have been useful because, you know, I get so tired of walking through the grass and Pokemon and just having random Pokemon come and just be like, hey, what's up, bro? My name is Lucario. But, yeah. It's just. I don't know. I'm still waiting for that Pokemon with all the regions in it. Just still waiting for it. A boy can dream, can we? We fight the Coil Snake. Which is not a trouble at all. all. It's really a pointless fight because he gives us only one experience points, but and he does a lot of damage, so he's not really worth the one. Excuse me, it's not worth the one experience points. But a fight's a fight, a fight. So yeah, I'm probably going to avoid coil snakes a lot more often because they're not worth it. And right here, let's go talk to this lady right here. The library is a nice place to learn stuff. We got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Yes, let's borrow for nothing. And never bring it back. Yeah, this game breaks the fourth wall like crazy. Like, if you love Banjo-Kazooie for breaking the fourth wall, you'll love this game. It breaks the fourth wall all the time. There is no fourth wall when it comes to this game. Alright, and now she explains the map. And I'll actually be keeping the town map. Because I like the town map. It helps me learn where to go. Did you know? Oh my god, I just thought of a dumb song that I am never think about bringing into my videos ever. And I'm trying to walk through trees, but I can't. But we can walk through these trees and go into a tree house. Let's talk to this kid. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her from me. After all, I'm single. Oh, so you want me to hook you up, man? What if I'm dating her? That's so messed up. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cat. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cat for someone really brave like you. And so we got another free little equipable thing. Which is really good because, you know, we could go to the store and buy this crap and it costs a whole bunch of money. And it raises our defense by six points. That's really good. You've grown since I last saw you. You're gonna look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. And then we talk to him again. You know what I mean. Really creepy. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave and never come back. And also, never sleep with you near me ever again. And then we have Mr. Rossetti right there. Just, you know, just chilling. Doing what he's supposed to do. Uh, get out of here, spiteful crow. And now, I'm just gonna auto fight this because a lot of these fights are really easy at the beginning. You don't have to worry about much. Not much. So what else? What else? I, mention? I mentioned the giveaway, which is stuff like that. Ah, oh, crap! Darn it! The fight's over. I can't enjoy my pot, my podcast. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, at least we got a cookie. Cookies are really good. Cookie, 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 cookie. Traveling entertainer shack. Let's try to go in because giant steps over there. The door is locked. Oh, that sucks. So we gotta find a key. Ah, oh, jeez. This is Zelda all over again. We're already looking for the Triforce, so we might as well start looking for keys. I wonder if I'll need a small key or a big key. I'm pretty sure I need a small. <laughs> that car, that car is running over that kid. <laughs> one second into one net, and somebody's already getting hit and run. That's amazing. So I think I'm gonna end off this video right here. So if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe, become a retro if you like to. You know, big. It would be very awesome of you, and you know, I would love you forever and always because I love everyone who subscribes. I love you all. I, would, I could kiss you if you wouldn't think it would be weird. <laughs> it would be weird. But um, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll do some exploring one net, and we'll see where we go from there. I'll see you guys then. It's been Retro Gamer signing out.